no, I can't swear that because it's not true. But at the same time, it's none of your business what happened between us. Before becoming the third wheel that might ultimately derail the relationship of Travis Scott and his Kylie Jenner, social media influencer Young Sweet Roe was born Roseanne Carr in Los Angeles, California, likely sometime in 1992. Though her age has never been confirmed and the internet seems to be at odds whether as she's 31 or only 26. In case that doesn't give you enough of a heads up, not a whole lot is out there about Roe's come up. Thankfully, there has been a couple of industrious individuals on the internet, including medium writer Ben Draken, who has done up some interesting background on her past. And no, I'm not talking about her childhood. Instead, I'm referencing her over 10 year long relationship with rapper Travis Scott that seemingly began after a photo emerged of the two of them hugging an oversized teddy bear in 2013. It should probably be noted that whether or not that is Travis Scott in the picture has never been officially confirmed. Some fans seem to think it isn't him because Travis was sporting a neck tattoo around that time. But others are equally convinced that this was the start of Travis and Roe discreetly referencing one another through the use of social media and the beginning of their relationship. A couple of years later, when Travis announced the release of his debut album, Rodeo, Roe took to Instagram to share a photo from the television series Breaking Bad, in which Walter White and his wife Skylar are staring at a crap ton of money. Her comment at the time, a simple, Mood. Could posting this image alongside the announcement of his album have been a coincidence? Mm. Sure, but that seemed less likely once she started showing up behind the scenes at some of Travis's shows. And on the very day that Rodeo finally dropped, Rose shared a picture of herself, captioned with the lyrics from one of his songs, reading, You get high with me, you come down with me. About a year later, in October of 2016, Roe would post a picture of herself, including a bouquet of flowers, which she captioned, still hate you though. And the very next day, Travis posted a photo online with a statement that simply read, love you too. Fans immediately jumped on this as a subtle back and forth between the pair. And once 2017 rolled around, Travis and Roe were constantly seen in the same place at the same time during the early months of that year, leading up to the first weekend of Coachella in April. As some of you may be aware, Coachella is where Travis and his future baby mama Kylie Jenner were pictured holding hands and caught making out together for the very first time during the second weekend of the festival. Days later, the pair would go public with their relationship. But even though Travis and Kylie were now officially an item, doesn't mean Travis necessarily stopped spending time with Roe. I mean, after all, in October, they were both photographed in the same studio at the same time. Then in March of 2018, only a month after Travis and Kylie's first child, Stormy, was born, Travis took a trip to a ski resort. That same month, Roe had posted about flying herself somewhere for her birthday. And would you look at that? Seems like she somehow wound up at the exact same resort. It's since been speculated that Roe had actually recycled these images after going on trips a month prior with another man. And now somehow online users began to accuse her of purposely fueling rumors that she and Travis were dating. I'm not sad that people think I'm with, I'm sad that this man is completely lying on me and you guys are giving him the attention that he wants. That's what I'm upset about. Later that month, Roe would take to Instagram to deny this claim, writing, I have never perpetrated any narrative. I never said I'm currently with him or have recently been with him. Not that that was enough to quell the conversation suddenly springing up accusing Travis of two-timing Kylie, that same year would also see the release of Travis's monumental album Astroworld, where, on the track Stargazing, he curiously wrote the lyrics, she was talking about forever, got a whole week, plus she know my baby mama is a trophy. Soon enough, after years of whispers and rumors, all of these odd occurrences would accumulate in 2019, when everything hit the fan. In February of 2019, Travis and Kylie were forced to confront Scott's cheating rumors head on, following which, Roe would post a public Instagram story of a screenshot, which suggested that Kylie had blocked her on social media. The following month, everything reached a boiling point. Roe shared a picture of herself holding a very expensive watch along with the caption, tell your baby daddy I said thanks. Of course, the abbreviation of BD is commonly used to mean baby daddy. The very next day, Kylie shared an image to her Instagram stories sharing yet another watch face and suggesting that the gift was a spontaneous one from Travis. A week later, Kylie threw Travis a lavish birthday party and even went so as far to buy him a Lamborghini. To you. Surprisingly, based upon the photos she posted online, it seems as if Roe was also at the celebration. Fast forward to October of 2019, and on the very first day of that month, Travis and Kylie officially split, with many people jumping to the assumption that Roe had finally managed to separate the two of them, something that she would, of course, refute. Travis would also deny the validity of this sediment, but then in an interesting twist, Roe would share another post, this one reading, I wish the truth would just reveal itself. 
Sometime over the next year and a half, Travis and Kylie would rekindle their relationship, which brings us to where we are right now. The more recent rumors that Roe is back in both of their lives as well. About three years later, in October of 2022, Roe reignited the flames of discussion when she posted an image to Instagram that she captioned, tell her to be me for Halloween since she wants you to love her so bad. Obviously, everybody's initial thoughts immediately jumped to Travis and Kylie. Then Rose shared a video of herself on the set of a mystery project with Travis walking around in the background. When the rumor mill got to work once more, Travis tried to get ahead of it, but he made one critical mistake. In a post where he denied ever being on set with Ro, he also suggested that he had no idea who she was at all. Considering I've just spent the past eight or so minutes covering the majority of their connections and linkups over the years, I mean, there's just simply no way that Travis is being honest here. I mean, maybe he hasn't ever had a physical relationship relationship with Ro and the maybe on that is doing a lot of heavy lifting, but he's at the very least been made aware of who she is. I mean, she was at his freaking birthday party after all. Having denied Ro's presence in his life for the umpteenth time, Ro finally had enough. She hopped on the Instagram live and vented about Travis lying about their relationship, while also suggesting that she was tired of playing along with what he wanted her to say. Pretended I didn't know you, went along with whatever fucking narrative you guys wanted to, no matter how much like bullshit I got from it, but to say you don't know me and you've never been with me, when you've definitely been with me. When the last time that things blew up like this, Kylie and Travis were headed for a split. Now, something tells me if the same thing happens again, this time Ro won't deny being the other woman. For now though, Ro seems more than content to simply continue building her steadily growing audience over on Instagram, where she often wears swimwear or clothing from luxury labels like Fendi, Chanel, and Burberry, while having over 437,000 followers. But in terms of what happens next in this little love triangle, you're gonna have to wait and see what happens next see what kind of breadcrumbs that young sweet row drops over the next few weeks and months. I mean, after all, you have been watching before they were famous. Thanks for spending some time with us today. And before you head out, why don't you consider answering the following question? If you had a 10 year relationship with a big time celebrity, how long could you keep it under wraps? Let me know if you have the same level of patience as Ro in the comment section down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss an episode. And if you'd like to check out a few other come up stories along a similar vein, then be sure to check out for our looks in the Murder B, Kelsey Nicole, and Selena Smith. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in another video.